Hello everyone, welcome to the No Script Show ad lib joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, this is what happens when you let people be you. Oh. Yes, uh, welcome to the to a very special edition, I guess. Um, you can find us at noscriptshow.com, which which our, our guest failed to mention. But that's all good, it was literally his first take. Uh, yeah, welcome um, to our guest, con the conscious character himself. Yeah, guys, thanks for having me. All right, so I have literally no idea what we're doing. Um, hold on, it's our birthday today, right, Odin? It is. We have to start with that. Um, yes. <laughs> I, I don't like thinking about getting older. Why? <laughs> One step closer to death. <laughs> Makes you come to terms with your own mortality. I was, I was comfortable with that already. Like, so why don't you care about? Why do you care about getting older? I actually don't. It just it makes the old game seem that much more older. Uh, yeah, today, I, how much did I pay? I paid like three or two something to pay for the well, entire... To put it into perspective, children that were born in the year 2000 can vote now already. I yeah. you see, I Except they that. don't want to vote. No, don't they don't, to vote. Oh, at least the Vits kids don't want to vote. I was, the I was, Vits kids? Yeah, <laughs> like I was listening to 702 in the morning because I, I, I like hurting myself. Uh, that's, that's why I drink, by the way, guys. Um, <laughs> to number the 702. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just stop listening to 702. <laughs> no. Like, get it? That can explain, like, why so many projects at work are not going well. Like, yeah. uh, maybe if I was sober, I'm like, I'm kidding, guys. I don't go to work drunk. Um, I don't listen to 702. <laughs> <laughs> I do go to work drunk, but I don't listen to 702. <laughs> kidding, guys. Um, no, but, like, I don't know if you guys heard this, but I was listening to, what is it? It's, it's, bong, it's Bongani in the morning, yeah, Bongani Bingwa, and he's interviewing, he's interviewing these kids at Vits, and they're like, no, I'm not going to uh, vote because my uh, none of these parties serve my interests, and blah, 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 and it won't make a difference, and so on and so on. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm tempted to think, I, I'd love to sit one of these kids down and just ask them, what part of what party doesn't serve your interests or principle? Yeah. Because we have like what forty eight parties running. I think it's yeah, testing like, nationally. That's a dummy large amount of parties. You're honestly telling me none of these parties align with your principles, at least to like a ninety nine percent parameter. I, see, I'm pretty sure this year DLC is the enemy, though. There's a DLC. party called the, There's a party called yes, DLC. There's a party called <laughs> DLC. <laughs> Guys, just it's it just an extension of the ANC, but it's just like <laughs> you, want to pay for you got a DLC for the ANC, where it's actually just like a tax package or something. Yeah, I just it's like the Democratic Liberal Congress or something out of Durban, and I'm just like it's hilarious that, that they call themselves. There's also an IRC, by the way. There's an ATM as well. Yes, <laughs> it's like surely at least one of these acronyms appeals to you. Like, yeah. who doesn't like getting money from a machine? ATM. ATM. Go. Yeah, because you know we haven't been state state. Uh, Plundered enough. As oh, well. and there's there's Germ's party, the people of excellent standards. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I thought Germ was purple cow now. There, he <laughs> purple Germ. Uh, I think the people of excellent standards merge with like the purple cow. Uh, okay, cool. Who doesn't love people of excellent standards anyway? Uh, there. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was polar orbiting Earth satellite, which is an actual <laughs> thing. <laughs> Probably invented by like a South African and just like, oh no, we're just gonna get it. No, 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 like, like NASA, honest to God, they know what they're Well, there is a South African at NASA, like some some guy is like very high up there. Must be, yeah. yeah. No, but I, no, on a serious note, I remember like some guy from somewhere in, in, in fucking nowhere in the Karoo is actually working like very high up in NASA. Like, nice. no jokes. Nice. Is, is, is that like a space joke, like altitude very high up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's Sorry. working on the space station, bro. Yes, li li literally, space yeah. station, yeah. yeah. Um, Alright, so I just... He, he goes for drinks at the space bar. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all seven years old and we just found the book of dad jokes, <laughs> so I apologize yeah. for the rest of the hour. But, but there's actually, there's something interesting in there with, there's no party that represents my values. That's the ideal opportunity to start one. Yes. You yeah, know, yeah, like, yeah. politics is way too monolithic now as it is. It, the whole point of there being more parties is probably a good thing at this point. Yeah, it's like uh, that one very wise man said, like, be the party that you want to see steal your taxes. Gandhi, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, I heard it was Abraham Lincoln. Because <laughs> he can trust everything you read on the Maybe internet. Abraham Lincoln more like it. Yeah. Abraham. Yeah. Abraham yes. Lincoln. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
Hmm. But yeah, that's an interesting idea. The fact that even with forty-eight bodies, there's still people. A lot of people are like, no, nobody represents. I don't. I, I, I don't I, believe that. I question that. Like, do does is it or is it just an ad lib that maybe they they're just saying like, until there's a party that's literally me, I'm not gonna. I'm not yeah. gonna. Vote but but then you are the party. It's five hundred yes. bucks. Go register. Like it's not. <laughs> and then you vote for I, yourself. I, yes. I, <laughs> like I doubt that your average kid admits has absolutely no party that represents it. I actually, frankly, I doubt that they've read all the manifestos to start with. All the princes. I think it's just easier to say. That what they're doing is the equivalent of what the rest of the planet is doing every time they update Adobe. Is click, <laughs> I read the license, and click yes. They're just going, yeah, no, yeah. none of them apply to me. Well, maybe you should read and find out. Yeah. Maybe you should. Well, that, that's the thing. People genuinely don't read the, the terms of service. Like, everyone just clicks agree, but you could be selling your soul in there, you wouldn't know. That was a prank the one year, actually. Yeah. I think it was, it wasn't Blizzard, it was some other gaming company. Oh, I yeah. remember it was... Where you forfeit your soul. Yeah, yes, and they yes. put in the terms and conditions, um, you forfeit your soul to Satan, and blah, 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 in one of the update patches. And then they brought, and then they made everyone aware, and they listed out all the people who had sold their soul to Satan. <laughs> and people were like, what the... But, but, but it's, it's it was like five years ago, and it was a gaming news thing. <laughs> but, but it's this weird thing because, like, those terms, they're written so defensively. Like, most people who, who accept them wouldn't even be capable of doing the things that could violate the terms, like right. reverse engineering. Yeah. It's, no, it's like your grandmother's having trouble with email. Let's just reverse byte compile Outlook to find the call flag. No, it's not. <laughs> that doesn't happen. They call tech support. So it's like the, a lot of those warranties are just. It's, they, they just try to cover all the bases, basically, like to make sure there's no loopholes in terms of somewhere there's like a handful of people that could use this for evil, but we yeah. want to make sure that they don't. Yeah. No, it's like lawyers were the worst thing that happened to software. Like bottom line, <laughs> universally, everything from Euler's to patents. I'm just oh, thinking about that quote from the movie where the, the, the mosquito comes in and then he has like a little... He, he became a lawyer, and then the guy was like, How did, did you go to law school or anything? He's like, no, I was already a blood-sucking parasite. Oh, I need it was a briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> ouch. Fair, but ouch. I just, I just want to take this opportunity to say sorry to about half of my family because they are lawyers, so, yeah. <laughs> they are all lawyers and accountants, so, you know. I don't really make an accountant joke. I'm just covering all the bases ah. for later in the podcast when we go in on lawyers and accountants. And, yeah, yeah. I, I guess we we could, but no. <laughs> there's far there's far too much happening with like this close to uh, mm. to the elections, which I don't even want to think about to be honest. Like, what I want to do today is drink. Um, I think push past my limits. <laughs> we will uh, get there. So, do you okay. guys? Um, do you think you want to get like the news out of the way? Or do you want to talk more like South Africa? Because a lot of things happened internationally. The only thing things internationally I care about is the fact that Donald Dino Tramparino <laughs> tweeted out a fucking meme. <laughs> no collusion, no obstruction. Game <laughs> over. Game of Thrones style. Even if I despise the man utterly, like like he's like a top level troll. Like that's just. Oh well, yeah, and like I said earlier as well, when you brought it up, and like just a week or so earlier, he posted that gif of Joe Biden sexually harassing Joe Biden, and then the, 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 headline, Joe. the headline started rolling out of like Donald Trump posts doctored image, and I'm like, what is this? Like the nature of deep deep face, where they can already create like indistinguishable from reality means where you harass yourself on camera. Shock surprise, <laughs> like yeah. kid. But, but that, I wouldn't even count that as a deep fake, honestly. That was just like a lame After Effects edit. That's doctored, bro. Well, it, was, it was doctored, yeah, no, it was. Wasn't there... Okay, so I've obviously got the, the wrong side of the story. Mm -hmm. But there was a meme about Germany's military build-up in the last week, and it turned out to be like almost nothing. Please excuse Caracol, he's, he's refilling his beer. Um, Actually, could, could you give me one while you're at this? Yes, guys, we are literally broadcasting live from New York. It's set, no, I'm kidding. We're broadcasting live from my apartment. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, we, we all flew literally to New York to record this. Yeah, I don't And that's why the audio sounds so echoey. We're chilling with Adam's boots. <laughs> in New York. Speaking of New York and Adam's spirits, uh, can, can you go in on that for us as soon as you get back from uh, refilling your drinks? Right, so. um, because I think that's a pretty interesting topic. Is I've seen the memes like that. The, what is that meme? The Africorum shaking hands with the US. 
and then really? the other people screeching. So it's just like a guy screeching. Screeching is yes, like, oh, yes. so, <laughs> so, as you are the most qualified person here to give us a rundown yes. on that, in all right, please, please chat to us about all right. that. So, basically, AfriForum sent a delegation of three people uh, Aaron Srutz, who is the deputy CEO, and then they sent uh, Marina Visa, who is in the communication department of AfriForum, and they also sent uh, Maria Andra Hienes, who is a, a, former, a former, former tax survivor. Her husband was murdered, and they're basically just in the US as a second. Uh, tour, uh, the US tour part two, where they <laughs> the American thing, <laughs> <laughs> the American where they're bringing awareness to the to farmer the the farmer epidemic, but also to the EWC that's on the on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And at the moment, they're in New York. They were in Washington last week, and they're coming back on Sunday. All right, mm -hmm. safely, hopefully, right. <laughs> must be what they are. Yeah, but yeah, no, the, the thing is. Um, I think it was, yeah. So last time when he was when Adams was in the in the US, he uh, met quite a few interesting people. But this time he had just had a completely new roster of people that he was recommended last time. And he says mm -hmm. that this time around again, they've been recommended so many new people that they need to talk to. They've already got a third tour pretty much in the bag. Damn. Mm. So I just like in in parallel to all this, there was a story that broke that the the US is considering cancelling the the US aid donations mm. coming to fight HIV, and so obviously the trolls got a hold of that, mm -hmm. and it's like oh my god, like the, the one tweet which just like rattled my cage honestly was from an account I'm not going to name because I don't I don't like to give people more publicity than that, but the argument was Afri Forum is like holding the country ransom trying to use the. HIV sufferers as leverage was to stop land there? reform. No, it's it's, I'm not going to name it. anyone. I don't it's really don't want to fucking name people. Um, but anyway, so it's total bullshit because the reason that completely the, unrelated, completely unrelated. But the reason for that is that for the last couple of years, South Africa's voting record in the UN has been pro-China on damn near everything. Yeah. The US has already decided South Africa isn't playing ball anymore. Yeah. So no shit, this is going to happen. Like, go to hell, the Western imperialists, but also give us your money, please. How about <laughs> no? <laughs> How about you don't do it this way? Mm. Um, so that's probably why it was cancelled. Um, yeah. Uh, it's like if if every forum had the ability to shut off that amount of aid. Uh, yeah, let me just say I'm very flattered to hear that they that's how much influence they think Afri Forum has. <laughs> the fact that we can just snap our fingers like Thanos yeah. and we fucking destroy just like any Can't. type of foreign aid to South Africa. Oh yeah, no, it's like it's yeah. ludicrous. Yeah. Also, clearly, either you're funding the IRR or the IRR is funding you. <laughs> or we're funding the ZACP and the ZACP is funding right. the IRR. And right. we are in turn funded by the Koch brothers. This podcast is funded by the Koch brothers. The Koch yes. brothers ate my homework. Right. Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. It's just like, it's like no, nobody knows just the, how much oil we're sitting on and they really want those pipelines built yeah. from nowhere to nowhere because <laughs> why, would, why would the Koch brothers give a shit about South Africa? <laughs> Low-key, low though, I, I love myself the Asian persuasion, so I, for one, welcome our Chinese overlords. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm, I'm kidding. I had to get the part where we're unmonetizable out of the yeah. way, like earlier. Yeah, yeah in the first 15 minutes, yeah. yeah. Before yeah. Google indexes all of this and just demonetizes <laughs> us anyway. Dude, they're going to ban us on the internet at some point. Mm. Hashtag So, ban yeah, on a, a, well, not maybe a lighter note, but on an international note, uh, Notre Dame was in the news. And contrary to popular belief, the entire cathedral did not burn down. No. Uh, but a, a significant chunk of it. Yeah. Like, it's not <laughs> in nothing. No. <laughs> In local news, there's a mm. screenshot of somebody asking the Paris Homeowners Association about the church that burnt down. <laughs> Are you serious? And then there's a reply yeah. to that: it does Paris in Europe and Paris in Paris? I saw that, man. <laughs> okay, somebody has to tweet that. One of us will tweet that for yes. one of our cards. Yeah, that'll be the thumbnail for the stream. Yeah. It's uh, <laughs> we had even funny cat talk about it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, well, something that I find very bizarre about this entire story is that somewhere out there, there's someone that hears Paris, and within their frame of reference, Paris is Paris, South Africa. Oh, yeah. I know, like, a couple of years ago, there was a whole bunch of military unrest in Georgia, in, like, you know, next to Russia. Yeah, sure. And they're like, and then some chick, white, basic ass white girls, <laughs> be like, 
oh no, these Russian tanks. I'm like, how, how do In you Florida. think? <laughs> how the fuck do you think Russian tanks got past the, the entire it's Atlantic? Red Alert. It's the exact plot of Red Alert. Do they, they land on Red the beaches? Red Alert, they yes. They land in like fucking Texas or somewhere. They got through the entire US Atlantic defensive fleet. They did, every yeah. Come on, but, guys. But I, I specifically remember it because it was a Yahoo Answers question. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like, are there really Russians landing tanks in Florida? It's like, no, it's no. Georgia in Europe. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, so no, I'm, there definitely are people that think oh. pod race is being... That's the center mm-hmm. of the universe. Pod yeah. Race, South Africa. I, I wish pod race South Africa actually had a little scale, not a, like a tiny Notre Dame model. Like so, if you stand at a certain angle, the perspective looks like you're yeah. The, like there's there's a tiny Eiffel Tower yeah, out but in, of course. in in Hartis. There's a tiny Eiffel Tower. They even have like a, the, an the, Afrikaans hunchback and everything. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, but a in, the, in the northwest they have a tiny Eiffel Tower, and it's 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 a restaurant called French Toast. It was made after it was made Fuck. after that local movie called French Toast. I, I don't know if you remember, but no. there was a local movie called French Toast where some random girl from the farm ends up in Paris and all that shit. And they and then said, she brings back with her is French Toast. I, I, I didn't watch it be- mostly because you know I, I enjoy what few brain cells the, the whiskey hasn't killed. But the, the, the restaurant named after it has a little mini Eiffel Tower. It's a huge attraction now oh. in Hotties. Outside of you know taking pictures of the dam, there's a mini <laughs> Eiffel Tower there. And is, it, they, is it just like some normal ass like farm dam? It's well, just like it's, a, it's pretty big. Like what like, uh, Hotties? Yeah, it's, a, it's okay. This, okay, uh, guys, you guys. I'm, I'm stating this on the internet. I'm going to take them to Hotties one day to show them just the how dam. huge the dam no, no, is. I've been to the dam. It's it's a proper dam. Mm. It's a, damn. But yeah, they've got a mini a mini Eiffel Tower and like a little bridge where they do the whole locks and right in there on. Fuck. They they've replicated that on an obviously oh. much smaller scale, but you can go there. I'm like that is so cool. <laughs> It's 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 really cheesy but cool. I like it. It's grown on me. Does it also have like a two scale yellow vest movement? Can you imagine <laughs> that though? Like two, like two, two scale two also guards. like like yeah. two two card guards up to your knees. They're like <laughs> swinging at your knees. Like, no more taxes. <laughs> Throwing like little firecrackers. I had a little fr- where was this? Where was it? Yeah, how is good old Emmanuel Macron doing? Like, uh, is well, the Yellow Vest movement is still going on. Still. Uh, it's for the 52 or like 50 something week in a row now. It's so going for a year, yeah. Damn. Um, and this is what, so hang on, Yellow Vest, I've seen some of the photos, but what's the deal? Like, they're. They're like the French Occupy Wall Street, right? Except they're actually yeah. serious. No, <laughs> more like Tea Party because they're super oh. pissed about the taxes. Yeah, but right. they're also very ideologically diverse. Like you've got like the far left and the far right kind of just mm-hmm. protesting together against like some common folk. Because nobody it's, likes taxes. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of the far left and far right, I think with this whole, and France, I think this whole Notre Dame thing comes down to, uh, and I don't know. An if excuse you guys to hate, it's an excuse to hate rich people. Yes. No, uh, it's, I've, I've observed this on Twitter is that there's there's basically for me three groups with this Notre Dame thing. There's the far left who are like, well, it was built on black and brown paint, so fuck Even it. Even though it was and, built uh, uh, two hundred years <laughs> before true. any type of colonial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think, Literally, this thing was built by all white people. So, Your motherfuckers yeah, yeah. need a history book, okay, okay, guys. No. I'm I'm I'm, I'm seriously no, up to my eyeballs in this shit. No, read have history. You, have you not seen the tweet? I have. I have. So I have. It was I built you. on brown paint. I'm like, okay. no, it literally is. No. Uh, and then there's it was built book. before they even like knew Africa was a thing. <laughs> It's just a, and then there's the far right who's who's Fuck. just like it must be the Jews or the Muslims. The oh, Jew, I, I actually, the I, Jews. I, I saw, I saw evil that. Jews. It's like there, there was memes like you know from these fake news sites like you know police suspect a Muslim terrorist or some shit, and it's obviously a put on. But they hope that like a real news outlet catches that. That's like the whole thing. Because mm-hmm. uh, there was as well like there was a terrorist attack in London a while ago, and it just went all the way out. Well, of I have to be honest, like. This type of attempt or like that idea of that hope of like a real news organization picking up on it. The mere fact that someone has that hope says a lot more about the, the current news mainstream media than about that person. Mm, the yeah. fact that they are doing it specifically because they think some mainstream source is going to pick it well, up. Well, it's like we said with the hacker known as 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> It'll guys, take you two seconds to I'm, Google. I, I am officially nostalgic for Anonymous now. Where the fuck did they go? Because uh, 
Like, what happened to them? Does anyone yeah. know? No. No? Uh, they had their time and it kind of passed. I got I got a hundred bucks that says in the 2020 election they threatened to, to, to leak AOC's nudes. <sighs> They must still be out there. She just graduated college. They must. They must. She was bought in. They must. They must have some uh, out there somewhere. So, if, if, welcome to the No Script Show with the extremely <laughs> offbeat political analysis, yeah. which is also probably entirely true. Like, <laughs> she did just graduate okay. college. She, it's not it's that the long. No Filter Show. Yeah. That's the, this episode is hashtag No Filter. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's never a so on a on a lighter note. Um, po, uh, pre-show. We were talking about a, so me and Logan and Lotan were talking about a, a movie that we want to create called uh, Death, Taxes and Justice, yes. <laughs> which is basically the, I'll give you a little like tiny synopsis and then the other guys can fill in the blanks. So the basic plot is uh, Odin Moya plays Odin Moja, who is like... In an this, Odin Moja production. Yeah, in an Odin Moja production. That's right! Uh, <laughs> he is this hard-boiled cop that just lost his partner in some freak accident. Cut it, to like, opening yeah. scene, me by it, a bar it, it, looking yeah. solemnly at a at a tumbler of whiskey, <laughs> yeah. gun and badge on the on the desk. Yeah, with like the credits, yeah. like the yeah. opening credits and stuff. And then Which he, just doing the name like six times. And then he goes to the um, the police commissioner or whatever and he has the the suggestion that you meet your new partner and it's like Wogan May playing Wogan May. <laughs> 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 he's exactly the same person he's in real life but he just decided to go into law enforcement so you can imagine the like <laughs> disgust being like a hardcore like hard-boiled policeman and this guy just some guy they, some literally, hired, they yeah. literally hired some guy so I mean guy. in this universe I would be the diversity hired <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, yeah dude. and then <laughs> they know, and it, like throws a line of I don't need a partner and he I work alone yeah he works alone dude. I so, work alone <laughs> and then he <laughs> <laughs> so now they're trying to bond and they're sitting at home and, and Wogan offers Odin a, a glass of, of vodka. Because he hears I, he like, like, I like to drink. So. Yeah, little does he know, uh, Wotan's ex-partner slash ex-love interest also lo- was Russian and loved <laughs> vodka. So he takes the glass of vodka, smashes against the wall, stares at Wogan for like 10 seconds, like squints a little bit and walks out. <laughs> Yeah, you see, this is what the alt-right does when we're not online, by the way, guys. Just so you know, that secret IR funding is putting together bad bad movies like this on paper. Bad movies? I feel insulted. This this, this This movie is a masterpiece. Yeah, this movie is a masterpiece. We just need to cast it and and record it and edit it and watch Mm. it. I think we can totally do like... But then also in this universe, the purple cows are like a radical capitalist group that oh yeah yeah, yeah. What, what they do is they get flash mobs together and they go into stores and then buy things yeah. it's horrendous yeah. <laughs> and then they leave the stores completely intact that's the previous <laughs> plan <laughs> and they do some promotion outside as well <laughs> yeah so they hand out free merchandise it's unheard of you know? so then in this plot as well the the <laughs> <laughs> we're still costing the police chief by the way guys oh, we're so really yeah, like a very the, yeah. the the IRS is bombed so Odin is the first cop on the scene and he finds like fingerprints on the wall so he just smudges it <laughs> <laughs> hashtag libertarian taxation is theft guys it and is. there's like one sole survivor that saw like the perpetrators and he like reaches out to Odin is like, I know who did it. And Odin just like caps him in the head. It's like, oh no, you've been hit by a ricochet. <laughs> oh no. Maybe like rifle through his uh, yeah, then, oh, his oh, wife. Uh, ooh, TGI Friday. So <laughs> free, free whiskey shots. Take yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and obviously at some point I have a problem with this. It's my yeah. real conundrum. Yeah, and that's then, the third act where that, yeah. that clash comes in. And then you, you, Odin just drops someone like, they're goddamn heroes. And <laughs> <laughs> he takes another shot. Yeah. <laughs> So this whole film is basically just Wogan trying to figure out this mysterious enigma that is yeah. Whiskey Wotan, a.k.a. a uh, loose cannon cop that doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> so I roll. So I roll. So I am the law. <laughs> you know, so guys, if you're interested, you know, hashtag six seasons in a movie. Uh, so hashtag uh, death, taxes, and justice. justice. <laughs> death, taxes, and we will, I will, I will, honestly, I will, I will take the hiatus from work to, to record this movie if we get the money for it, so... Yeah, I will. I will. I will do it. Just, the thing is, I, I do believe that. I, I do believe that that you would actually do and this. And then Wogan needs the time off anyway. He works way too hard. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah I've, I've heard that before. It's also true. Mm. 
Oh, so man. then, also in more serious international news, Julian Assange has been arrested. Oh, uh, dude, that was the saddest fucking thing I've seen in years. Mm. Like, when he was hauled out of the embassy. That was just ridiculous. And he, like, screams resist. That's what like, was with the, with, with the poop flinging there? No, that, that wasn't true. Was that not true? Okay. No, it was a... Uh, so the, the main theory is, if you look at... The, the IMF just gave Ecuador a huge loan. Very coincidentally. Oh, I didn't know that. So... Oh, okay. One of the big theories is that he was. This was one of the requirements, one of the conditions. It's like, okay, do this and this and this. Also release uh, Julian Assange, but also do this and this and this. And yeah, so they just looked for an excuse to to eject him. And mm. people were making messed up jokes about how he looks like David Letterman with his beard. <laughs> okay, you know what? Okay, I'm I'm torn on the Assange thing because yeah, obviously he made the government look bad. So good, yeah, leak that stuff. But leak my. That shit. My understanding is uh, one of the downsides to his, his whole operation was that in a lot of those uh, reports, he refused to, and you, maybe you guys can refute me on this, he refused to redact the names of like uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, of, of uh, translators and stuff oh, yeah. who, who were still in those war zones in mm. Afghanistan and Iraq. Oh, I don't know. And he refused, and that's, yeah. what, and that's why a lot of people are taking issue with him that not that he leaked it, that he, he leaked it without redacting people's names and details. Yeah, but that's not why the, the US government is Well, taking. obviously not sure. there, but, uh, and if that's true, and I, I yeah, so if it. only you redacted these names, <laughs> you leaking this very classified it's, information, we would have been good though. We would but that's my personal thing. Like I'm cool with like leaking that stuff, but when you, when you leak out the names of people I who are still yeah. active operatives in those zones, you're putting um, people in danger. I think it was Sticks Hexenhammer that said, um, when someone leaks information about what my government is doing behind closed doors, and you paint that person as the as the villain rather than the government, then that says a lot more about my government than about yeah. that person. Mm. And I don't know if people remember, but the, the actual thing that got WikiLeaks in trouble was the Chelsea Manning tape, mm. Mm. where that was a recording of like US soldiers ambushing like a, like a village. Yeah. Which is like I'm killing civilians, yeah. BTW guys, it's a war crime. Okay, yeah. we have rules against this yes. shit. This is what the, the the freedom United States are supposed to be fighting against. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You don't yeah. get to ambush you. I mean, look, obviously in a combat situation there are morally ambiguous situations. But when you ambush a damn village <laughs> and just start getting down to it, it's like eh. Yeah. And, and that's actually why the two of them, you know, people have gone after them so much. Like all the other leaks, like the diplomatic cables, those are like inconsequential compared to the fact that no. that video directly undermined. What the I just find very hilarious is the fact that when when WikiLeaks was publishing leaks regarding the the Ira Iraq war effort, uh, then Republicans despised them and the Democrats loved them. And then oh, yeah. when he was leaking like uh, climate change scandals, the Democrats were uh, <laughs> hating him. The Republicans loved him. And then he was leaking something mm. else. The the Republicans hated him again, and then when he leaked the DNC emails, he was public enemy number one for the DNC. Okay, well, I mean, all of that just tells me one thing, is that the, neither the Dems nor the Republicans really understand who or what he yeah. and WikiLeaks are. No, I so think that's that, what it's... It, I'm, sure, I'm sure they understand it, they just don't care, because they have parties to run, and, yeah. you know, I mean, all, all white male candidates to sabotage in the primaries. I think... Yeah, to put a female good. robot on stage. Bernie! <laughs> Fucking... Sorry. <laughs> So I'm going off track there, yeah. but this, what were you saying? I think what you just need to realize is that both the Democrats and the Republicans are corporations. Like, those parties are run like businesses. They're not like philanthropic organizations. They run to win and to stay yeah. in power. They run like a corporation. Guys, it's politics. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like people don't understand that the politicians you see on TV are not paid actors. That's their actual job, yeah. is to maintain the levers of power to their benefit. That's yeah. literally the job description of a politician. Like it's not Especially even... the career politician. Oh yeah. Like Bernie Sanders that hasn't had like a real job in his life. Yeah, so not it's, once. No, not it's, 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 once. Is, is that actually true though? Because I remember that meme came out and then never, people refuted that with a friend that did work a bunch of jobs. But like I don't know what the He got kicked out for being too lazy in a <laughs> commune. In a fucking what? hippie commune. <laughs> Shit you know. And there's that clip of him where he says like actually bread lines are a good thing. Yeah. Hold on, guys. Oh, 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 oh. yes. In, in some countries, the rich, they get all the food, and then the poor stuff. So actually, bread lines are a good thing. Also, I want some pudding, and some more pudding cups. 
That was an actual recording that we just posted because my uh, imitation wasn't good enough. We just played the real thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's, that's what we do. We, we literally have the most sophisticated audiovisual setup plus all the clips in the background for. <laughs> yes, it's not being recorded in some Pretoria apartment for some reason. On a laptop. Yeah. Just why it's uh, the first thing that just comes to mind for me is this meme I saw where in some alternative universe where Bernie Sanders wins the American or like the, the election, there's this meme of that of Ralph Wiggum sitting like on the bus where he just says like I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> the American people. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, gee. Mm -hmm. I I still I keep going back to whenever I think about the, the Trump versus Clinton thing, mm. I think about that experiment that I think it was New York University did where they, trained, where they trained two actors and then gender swapped their speeches. So they got a female to like adopt Trump's mannerisms, they mm. got a guy to adopt Clinton's mannerisms, and the woman came off as infinitely more likable. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this goes back to the point that oh. you put up the most hawkish, robotic, most unlikable woman on planet. Pokemon go to the polls. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, low key though, low key though. Like I've seen a couple of young photos of of, of Rodham HRC, and uh, she can get it. Like nineteen eighty HRC can get it <laughs> for me anyway. Just say. <laughs> well, to to meet Bill standards of the day, I'm sure she had to. Have. Yeah, yeah. like early yeah nineteen eighties HRC. Yeah, you still can, you can get it. Though. With like an intern. That's that, that's why. So, yeah, but that's but that's when she was older. And also, um, <laughs> also again, again, no, that's not an excuse. Sex, drugs, money, no, and politics. No. This segment of the show. For for the record, I do not uh, uh, endorse uh, you know infidelity, but um, unless she's like older. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> unless unless she's yeah. HRC. Um, but like honestly, guys, if if you had the choice, like. Between HRC and, uh, and and this in no, I'm kidding. No, that that's that's a joke. but I like how you stop yourself. Like, <laughs> it's, it's like in the middle of setting up the moral dilemma, uh, you realize uh, you are the dilemma. I, I am the moral dilemma. <laughs> On a realistic note, though, in terms of presidential in investigations, isn't it funny how we could figure out that Bill Clinton got a got a quick rim clean, a good pap. Clean and, and rooms. Put a cigar somewhere very yeah. really strange. Yeah, he got a quick spit shine on his rod in the Oval Office, which, FYI, low key, I'm like, that's just fucking boss. Like, I, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> also, didn't JFK bone Marilyn oh, yeah, yeah. in the Oval So basically, yeah, JFK is a monster, dude. Every, <laughs> every, or at least not every Republican president we know of, but every president we know of the United States has boned a woman in the Oval Office that isn't his wife. So Bill, I can't. Bill just got caught. Yes! <laughs> so, can we please find one president in history who's boned his actual wife in the Oval Office? It might be, it might be the Donald, because <laughs> Melania is still looking good. Dude, isn't, dude I, you know what, with, with everything else that's happened, it would not surprise She's me. the first first lady yeah. that has, like, official nudes. Of yeah. The, of yeah. <laughs> Mel Melania can what? get it, though. What the Sorry, fuck? Brad. This Sorry, this Brad. This is timeline. <laughs> this is timeline. I don't... Guys, okay, we, we are definitely in... Like a B grade sci fi series in second season where the heroes failed to stop the assassins and so our history is unraveling and we're in the bad timeline. Because <laughs> bad timeline. This is the great timeline. Yeah, this is the best timeline. This, yeah. is, oh the, my God. this is the most. This is the timeline where Death, Taxes, and Justice is a real film. Guys, it's coming out. Hashtag <laughs> six season and a movie. Honestly, we will start and we will, we will figure this out for you guys so you can see us be actual. But Action buddy cops. But you know what would actually be on point with like modern te filmmaking techniques would be to plot that out and then do it Shrek retold style where we just get a bunch of <laughs> just get a whole bunch of you know, like white people and black people together to play the characters in like random bars and shit. <laughs> and then just cut it together as a movie. I like how the, discriminatory you're being with the cast of like just white and black people. Like exactly. nothing in between. Nothing <laughs> like <literally laughs> But nothing it, in that's between. the formula of a buddy cop movie. It you has to be it has to be a black guy, a white guy, and the chief, police chief has to be a grizzled, old, angry black guy. Like, that's the... It's mandatory. That's the... That's, that's the... Yeah, and, and you need, like, a slick, well-dressed politician who's there to fuck things up for everyone, like the... You know, from the mayor's office or something. It's like... It's like trying to get the police chief's budget cut or something. It's like a background threat. <laughs> Will the ZACP, like, the marauding capitalists, just be played by, like, the actual ZACP... Yes, we are working on a deal to get Canton Play to feature in our movie. With an eye patch, though. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my he used God. to be a bit more like uh, grizzled badass <laughs> yeah. leader of a uh, captain. Dust, probably. yes. Dust out his beard a bit more, make yeah. it more grey and white. Uh, Definitely. Final showdown. We, we make like Ram Kavanagh a cyborg that talks yeah. to like a voice modulator. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but then also, if we're doing this, then we, we need Canton Palais headquarters to be on a farm where he's actually always in a room with a cow because yeah. otherwise it wouldn't work. Yeah. He strokes the cow. Exactly. It's, it's like taller than him. It's like yeah. stroking this huge thing. It's like fucking interesting, mm. Mr. Bond. Yeah, and he's like, Roman is his henchman, like the cyborg henchman that, that like, talks in like Microsoft Sans. Uh, yes! <laughs> so, 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 so basically like in real life. Yeah, yes. uh, Microsoft Sans is like gravity. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, should get Roman Sans as like a voice. See, this is why people don't want to come on our show. Because we have to use <laughs> Shout out to Conscious Caracol for coming on and shout out to... to uh, I've ever been tainted now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, but the thing is, we, we could always just like not release this until like five years from now. We can say there's a lost episode. Yeah. That we then dig up two years later. <laughs> you make an entire thing of it. Like you make a video where you dig up this old cassette that you just put in. And the, the, the cassette is labeled like top secret or something. And then it's this. No, it's labeled HRC News because no one would ever open that. <laughs> you know, it's labeled stuff. <laughs> Never open a man's stuff folder. Yes, <laughs> that is the meme. And we all know exactly what the stuff folder is, guys. So It's, yeah. it's, it's the tax returns. That, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, it's all the tax returns. Uh-huh. No, it's, a, it's Odin's plans to bomb like the, the, all the tax authorities. But then it turns out he doesn't know how to make a bomb. So. <laughs> he just drops truth bombs. True story, fam. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, are we going to discuss a little bit of tech this week at some no. point? Sorry, hang on. There, there is actually one thing I want to point out. Didn't Sam, was a, Samsung launched a foldable phone that like breaks after five uses? Are you serious? Yes. No, I think you're just thinking about the hoax. Like the, uh, the, 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 the hoax the, is funny. The, the Apple bend. No, 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 no. no, no. The bend gate. No, 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 no. Um, Where like all these hipsters that like Apple, they, the, the Apple executives didn't realize that all these hipsters wear like skinny jeans. So then when they put their apple in their pocket, when they stand up, their apple is like bent. Bent. <laughs> so then 4chan started bend games, <laughs> where they told people it's actually trendy to have like a bent phone. So people actually did it and ruined their phone. <laughs> there was and they say them. white girls have flat asses. Like I showed Come you, they on, also convinced people that they could, uh, they could charge their apple in, in the microwave. Great, and yes. And that the, apple, the new I- Apple iPhone has like weird water detecting oh, software. No, no, yeah, it was basically if you install the new iOS on your phone it makes it waterproof. Yeah, it detect the software detects. <laughs> um, no, so there's actually yep the But the, the thing is all of those hoaxes and the people falling for them, for me on a technical level, boil down to one thing and that is a critical misunderstanding between the differences between software and hardware and what yeah. each can do and, th- and should do. My, yeah, like, my favorite yeah. line, yeah, my favorite line from that video was where the guy says, well, this could all be the win with the microwave. The idea of people that actually charge their phones in the microwave is like, well, these could be hoaxes. But if you look at these embarrassing posts on the Apple tech forums, I'm thinking probably not. Like these <laughs> desperate posts yes. on the Apple te- tech forums. No, no, it's okay. So anyway, like, Actual thing, I'm not making this up, the, 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 there are so many faulty units where the screen on the left hand side becomes disconnected, I think. So it's like. Oh, so now fold gates instead of bend gates. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Galaxy fold. I'm yeah. quite happy with my Galaxy Note 9, by the way. Yeah, but and if you try to become a sponsor. Yes, please sponsor me, Samsung. Please. Well, so we're talking about AOC's nudes, so that's exactly the type of hard hitting content you want your brand <laughs> next to. <laughs> And okay, again, uh, just just one more one more thing. Sorry to to Martin Kuhn and and Belva Pete. Please don't watch this show in front of children. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think Belva Pete like sits there and he he asks like his children, everyone gather around, we're gonna watch the family friendly no script show. <laughs> well, the only f- yeah, I, I'm gonna send him a, a no script T shirt one of these days. Mm. Uh, oh, we totally need to do that. Um, He's uh, like the uh, biggest fan, dude. You need yeah, to have him on the show. show. Between him and and and, and uh, Kurt's ghost and Lola B, like thanks guys. Yeah, uh, L- literally all three of our core fans, <laughs> which is fine because this wasn't even meant. Like, why did we start doing this? I can't remember. Oh, I made a joke about it on Twitter, and then we actually started doing it. Yeah, then I took it seriously, like I normally do, and then here we are, like a year later. 
<laughs> was joke fam. Ten deep. episodes deep. <laughs> ten, <laughs> ten, ten dimensional chess. Fuck. It's like next year at some point, I'm going to be like, you know, I was kidding, right? Like, <laughs> no, 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 what's going to happen is we're going to be at the premiere of Death, Taxes and Justice. And then I'm going to be like, you know, I was joking. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in my trailer, guys. <laughs> Charlie Sheen has to be in that movie somehow. Please, we, oh, have, we can we can uh, pull a Star Wars on him and like CGI him into the film. Yes, yes, deep fake Charlie Sheen into. You know what? Actually, I think Charlie's a cool guy. Who's right. likely it's, actually it's basically going to be a. That's why I've mode on. It's going to be a, a like to show our effects budget. It's literally just going to be Odin with like a printed image of Charlie Sheen on his face, or like a, perfect just a cutout. But, like, then, but then he has to swap it out to change the expression. Yeah, yeah. He's talking to him. He's talking to Charlie. He's interrogating Charlie Sheen in the film, or like in the scene. So he, he walks out. He walks in. He has like the, the Charlie Sheen mask on. And then while he's waiting in there, uh, Odin, we, we just cut it or like edit it so you don't, you don't see them in the same room together. You exactly just cut between the two. So he's like slamming on the oh, table. That was well, no Charlie you? Sheen could be my mentor in the thing. He oh could shit! Be my original mentor when I was a rookie. <laughs> He also horrifically dies. Exactly. I'm like, no, Charlie! Snort, tries to snort the world's biggest line of coke. No. I'm like, he's like, I can do it. He's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, like after 30 years, he just finally decides to try banging an eight gram rock. And that was his one gram too much. <laughs> one gram too much. <laughs> Charlie's done. His last words are winning. I'll be like, Charlie, no! <laughs> no, no, you see, this is where you have the and serial can, killer. No, no, you have the serial killer who inscribes winning in blood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> and he found traces of, of coke in his, I mean, traces of blood in his alcohol. Or the, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because this is set in South Africa. So, shall, we, shall we get into that? That fucking. Is our Minister of, of Transport? We yeah. found traces of nose in his cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But like the, there was the video with the hot cross buns that then made you fail a breathalyzer yeah. test, which was pretty sensational. It, it gave me like flashbacks of watching like a Brainiac episode. Oh my god, Brainiac! <laughs> that shit was. Wait, wasn't Hammond? Is, yes, it is yes. Hammond. Yes. Hammond uh, John John Tickle. Yes, <laughs> but it's like I, I saw Hammond there. I'm like, hang on, you're supposed to be on top here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not a new show you ever It's does. a crossover, dog. <laughs> yeah. To like weird science. Like okay, this top, this crossover. Like, nah, yeah, but then again, it, I think it's an opportunity missed because the other guests of all well, the other hosts of uh, Top Gear never featured on on Brainiac. But it's also like the only show they've ever had to do in their lives. Like it's not, <laughs> it's been that successful. Yeah, that's what they're known for. <laughs> yeah. They're the Top Gear guys. Like no. everyone knows them. So like there we go. No, but, I shit you not. You could go into the middle of, of like Richard Hammond and the rest of the crew could go into the middle of Mummy Lodi now and people will be like Top Gear, Top Gear. Yeah. Top Gear. Is, that, <laughs> is, is that before or after they get robbed though? Like always They won't they won't rob the Top Gear okay. guys. It's called respect, man. It's, it's but, but but also in the last week in amazing local news that is true, somebody robbed an SABC camera crew in Alex. Oh I was listening And then the that. SABC crew shamed the people. <laughs> <out there. laughs> I actually I have that clip and I tweeted it because I couldn't believe that the, there was a bunch of things I couldn't believe. The First, SABC tried to guilt people on air. Yeah. Like, it's like to, to not buy the camera. So I'm like, hold yeah. the fuck up for like a second. You're a national broadcaster with apparently no insurance yeah. who is now appealing to the entire public, taking this camera theft, making it a national story, and then telling people not to buy the camera. Like, okay, there's like a whole bunch of questions I have. Mostly, are we a country or a spazar shop? I can't tell anymore. <laughs> I just, I've never it's seen. a pretty fucking big camera as well. Like I don't know where you would hide it. Well, like yeah, like or, it's or, pretty. And it's like it's who a would serious. Use it? Who would it's use a, it? exactly. It's a serious camera. Like yeah. only a select set of people are going to be using that. Camera. Spoiler: We actually stole it to form Death Taxes and Justice. <laughs> yes. What, what was that movie with? It was like Steve Martin ran a movie production company and. Oh my god! I need to think about this now. It'll come back to me a little bit later. Steve Martin as a father of the bride. Finger. What? There was something. I think it was Steve Martin, like the slapstick comedy guy. Let's let's yeah. not talk about Steve Martin fearing. Oh, oh no no no! Sorry, we really shouldn't. Hang on, let me look this up. Uh, no, it's just like it was. Hey, long. Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sick Joe Rogan reference. Um, I, I would I love to actually before. hang out with with Joe Rogan for. I think a lot of people would do. Like, I, I want to drink with him, get fucking high with him, just like. Chill. Just take like a, a Elon Musk puff. That's like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna musk. I, I mean, well, since I'm I'm chocolate. No, dude, I think I'd up. rather just host meme review. 
We'll do, I, I we, we will I have you. Review. We will have you on 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 our meme review. Our next meme review will 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 you'll, you'll feature be our internet, character. You'll be our internet correspondent. We'll, we'll, just, we'll animate a character avatar. And then yeah. we'll no, I'll be in front of the green screen. Just put like hacker like green yes, text. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I'm we, in the the code right now. Yeah. In the, <laughs> okay. So I guess now we have to bring back meme review. Uh, the, the problem is it took a long time to put that episode together. But it was an like, excellent graphic though. <laughs> the, the, the little headlines at the <laughs> bottom. Yeah. Uh, oh. Whiskey won't in his suit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, it's okay. worth it. Yeah, I'd love to do more of those. The problem is just finding the time. Like, you know, because that actually took a whole bunch of prep and upload and testing and editing. It wasn't well, just like talking shit for an hour recording in a podcast, which I think right. we're doing. Um, well, once you once we're fully sponsored, I'm looking at you, McAllen Whiskey. Um, <laughs> don't don't antagonize our brands. Come on. Yeah. I'm looking at you, Coke Brothers. Uh, <laughs> so just um, pick one. Any one of you can just. Yeah. Uh, um, there we go. Sorry, I was thinking about Bowfinger. That's the one. I, I still don't know what you're talking. About. Steve Martin, Eddie Murphy, and the whole thing is basically that they. They, they produce a movie starring Eddie Murphy without Eddie Murphy's knowledge. So they just... It, it's actually... It's, it's oh, funny. I remember this. Yeah. And so, so like, they keep like, getting these shots of like Eddie Murphy just doing regular shit and they put it into a movie. And then they find like Eddie Murphy's identical <laughs> twin um, to, to record some parts. Eddie but Murphy has an identical twin. In this movie, he does. Uh, um, but the whole point of it was like there's this low-budget shitty movie company that wait, actually is, produces Wait, is his movie. identical twin played by Eddie Murphy? Yes, because that's yeah. obviously what they would do. But I just the Bowfinger yeah, release date nineteen ninety nine, you know, before the world got complicated. Um, Back then we yeah. still had some decent comedy movies coming out. I can't remember the last time, like I genuinely can't remember the last time I went to the cinema to watch a comedy movie. Twenty twelve was the last year of the world. We're just living in the afterglow, like oh, I thought you were gonna say twenty twelve was the last comedy movie that you watched. Well, <laughs> from some people's perspective it is. Yeah. Well, I think uh, after the actual year 2012, they moved the film 2012 to the comedy section. Just. <laughs> but that's actually a good point. I mean, I also can't <coughs> remember the last time. Also, just to remind you. Like a genuine that, comedy. I mean, Marvel doesn't really count because their main genre is in comedy. Speaking I mean, of like a purely comedy movie that you want um, to watch. Deadpool? It doesn't yes, really count. So it like it's it's like a hybrid, but it, I mean, like a movie you're going just for the comedy, not because it's like a super. Yeah, there's like there's, there's, there's no more Pink Panthers. There's no uh, more Mr. Like it's all uh, everything is just super serious. And can dark. I? Can I? And I and I would interject as to why that is. It's it's because we've moved into this era where everything is offensive. Everything is this yeah. is. Everything is this is. The nature of comedy is that it remember like the raunchy comedies of exactly. like the early two thousands. Naked it's, gun, <laughs> please. It's, yes, right. It's, it's, comedy is naturally disgusting and offensive in a certain way, and everybody laughs at it. Either everybody gets made fun of or nobody does. And now that we've moved into this whole politically <laughs> correct <laughs> thing, then comedy movies aren't viable anymore in today's mainstream environment. Mm. When, I, when, yeah. when 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 you can't be edgy anymore. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm just sorry. Right Comedy now. movies are mainstream, and the mainstream has moved to appeasing everybody on planet Earth. And when you appease everybody, you can't make jokes because jokes risk offending people. You know, you can't make black jokes, yeah. Jewish jokes. I think I know everything. where Logan is going. So yeah, no, no, it's just there's a short clip from one of the Naked Gun movies with two guys having a gun battle. And the one he's like behind a barrel, the one's behind a vent, and then it pans up and so they're like right next to each other, just constantly missing. And I'm like, dude, come on, that was ah oh, man, the late nineties were peak for that stuff. Seriously. Mm. But like comedy movies that didn't try to be like good narratives, they're just there to cram as many good jokes as possible yeah. and like rapid fire at you. And just I'm fine with that. A comedy movie doesn't have to have some deep message or like <laughs> yeah. a plot or anything. No, it's like, like it all... just needs to make me laugh. It just has to have like good jokes every fucking minute. It's it's like all, all the naked gun movies with yeah. that. Like yeah. like especially you know, like the fireworks factory exploding, move along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just shit like that. Like you couldn't do that these days. Like you just yeah. If, if it wasn't some kind of progressive thing with an appropriately diverse <coughs> cast, it wouldn't get off the ground. Hmm. Exactly. Just, like, ah, well, like, really like I said, the other night I watched Tropic Thunder again. Like the, Never go full <laughs> retard. The types of jokes they make. What do you mean, form. you people? <laughs> and it's not even 10 years old. Like, it's 2008. Can we discuss how so Ben... It's, Leno, it's Leno. Yeah. Yeah. Ben still directed that. Yeah, Ben still directed and written. What? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No, it's, it's actually a really good film. Ben still directed yeah. that. Yeah. Can you believe that? Yeah. I can. No, I can. Because I can believe that there was a time before 
social media infected everyone, and then politics infected social media, and now we're all sick with this disease. Like uh, the the most genius move by that film is the. By starting it with a bunch of fake trailers. So when you're watching it in the cinema, the real trailers transition into these fake trailers and the people in there don't didn't expect it, so they're just sitting very confused. Like <laughs> what uh, the one advert is booty sweat, and then there's uh, the devil's Satan's alley and um, Booty Sweat. Uh, That's a real thing. Scorcher six and uh, the Faddies. <laughs> with Jack Black playing every character and Ben Stiller in Scorchers 6 like uh, and when the world needed him six more times this time it's different and then instead of the world like burning the world's frozen <laughs> <laughs> Death, Taxes and Justice 2 would put in justice is a but more like, justice-y because it's like I mean the thing is as I'm thinking about it now there's there was this point where there was the news and there was entertainment. And then entertainment started aping the news. Then it started yeah. becoming the news. Now it's like you watch... Entertainment. Yeah, now you watch like Daily Show or Last Week Tonight with John Oliver. And it's the actual news. So now like to do comedy... But just with like an uh, incredibly blatant ideological story. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, no, no joke. And then it's like, okay, so now that's affected comedy to the point yeah. where just on like stand-up comedians have to kind of... Lean yeah. a certain way. Like, I remember just the other day, um, there was like this tweet of uh, I can't, I don't, I don't know any of the names of like the late night funny men, but like <laughs> it was a an episode. Of, isn't of, like, that isn't that an indictment against <laughs> late night funny men these days? It was like the the literal tweet was like a promotional tweet. Uh, tonight, watch this late night funny man dissect the Mueller Mueller report. I'm like, no, that's not comedy. What that? that uh, and that's the thing. It's like. The left has kind of weirdly figured out that people will take information in if presented through a comedy format. Right. So that's now become the pulpit from which the left church and they, preaches. And they, they pioneered it with people like Stephen Colbert and the, mm. yeah. the Late Show. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I mean, like, the, the left doesn't have a religion. They are their own religion. And yeah. at some point, they need a church and worshippers and fuck you, you go. Well, I mean, the, the, for the left, the oh, concept right. of, I mean, there's the concept of original sin. So I think yeah. in terms of the left... Original sin is things like privilege. Yeah. yeah. You're born with privilege. That's the right. concept of original sin. Right. And then they before they are also blasphemy words that you can't use. Yeah. Like certain oh, words are too right. offensive to use, so they become like blasphemy. Yeah, there was like a, Western there was, civilization and family there was values. A, a good article yeah. that it's like Terry yeah. Crews getting in trouble because he said like there there's a specific role for a, a father and a mother in a family. Like it's important to have both a mom and a dad. And the because it is yeah. like it just isn't even up for debate. Like it, it is. And then people got upset because he, he was taking away like from single parents and shit. I'm like, no, no. The stats show it's better to have two uh, two parental units than one. It's not like it's not controversial. It's fucking true. No, it's not controversial. It's biological, which is like another original sin. Yeah. But the, but the thing is, there was an article a year or two ago. You know talking about intersectionality as a religion mm. and it kind of went into you know what they, they, they've got the rituals they've got the phrases the words they've got the gatherings they've got the, the dogma rooms. exactly and it's like okay so they've invented a religion and they're also non-religious which kind of makes sense because they're yeah. filling that void mm. yeah it's, it's like they, I don't think any of the intersectionalists call themselves a Christian or whatever they probably don't no because intersectionality their movement is yeah. the religion I mean and this is actually and this is a point that that bothers me insanely. Uh, the LGBT movement. Do you remember the fight for equal marriage rights in the US? Because mm. they won that battle years ago. Yeah. And then they didn't stop. And so now it's this thing. And where then people were like, uh, the Republicans were making the the slippery slope argument, and then their big defense was, no, don't worry, we're just going to end it here. Like this is going to be a. We just want to be treated like normal people. And I'll look at no. what what it's devolved into yeah, today. And, and that's deliberate because. By the time the LGBT community movement, as it were, won that victory, they entered straight into politics. And yeah. the Democrats especially took advantage of that. They realized, oh, we, we, now, have, yeah. we now have no, we have a voting block now. We yeah. have this whole group of people, which is really fucking ironic because LGBT means four different things, but yeah. they're one block of people. I, I would love to know how all those things reconcile with each other. Like, okay, cool. They they they, they used to before the Democrats got involved. And so now, now it's actually like a political movement slash cult, and there's people that are trying it's to get an identity. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. In lieu of religion. It's like people need that large structure with a huge sky yeah. would be yeah. for life to make sense. Otherwise, it doesn't make with sense. like a canon and shit. 
Yeah. Like with uh, an origin myth and like a, a yeah. set of rules and sins. Well, and yeah. yeah. And so I'm just, I, I, what I'm waiting for is who was it that wrote that textbook on critical theory or some American scholar, like a black woman, I forget her name constantly. Bell Hooks? No. It's, it's <laughs> something else. <laughs> No, I don't, I don't care what she did. I'm waiting for her to pass away because then she becomes the martyr. She and becomes a saint. Yes, she mm-hmm. becomes the figurehead of this religion. Well, this, this is the thing for me, That's guys. That's where you're going. The whole slippery slope thing. Like, pre, in years previously, I used to think, yeah, slippery slope is a good way to dismiss an argument. But in terms of the whole LGBT and music, censorship. Uh, yeah. yeah, censorship, L- LGBTQ+. Plus, yeah, yeah. And, LGBTQIA+. Plus. LGBTQIA+. P plus? No, there's no. No, don't put the P in there. Is there a P uh, there? Uh, so I assume there was a P. Wait, what's the P? There isn't one. Don't, okay. don't, don't, no. don't, don't okay. put a P in there. Yeah. It could be. Okay, I. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let, let's just say you're going off the map. This is yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. So <laughs> they'll explain this to me later. I'm not. I'm not. Ooh, I'm not cognizant. But anyway, between the LGBT <laughs> thing and the, and the <laughs> killing themselves laughing. LGBTQ thing and the and the whole um, and also the 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 pro life pro choice movement. Yeah, I think those are all great and censorship. Those are all great examples of you know slippery slope is actually an argument because now we've reached the point where we are we are f- facing the possibility of post birth abortions. Yeah, unless yeah. you are uh, or like uh, uh, what's uh, that uh, organization uh, called Nambla that like argues for like. Pedophile, pedophilia being like seen as a sexual orientation. Ah, uh, oh, no, I, no, I, no I, I just picked up on the P thing. Anyway, um, my my whole point with that is is that I mean, post birth abortion. I think that you'd be hard pressed to find the most pro choice person who'd be like, yeah, screw it, I've already birthed it, but still kill it. Like, yeah, no, that is so. Uh, and, and so now I'm like, because the thing is, the, the, these people don't stop and it's kind of like it's difficult because you do need social progress but the tricky thing is that progressive doesn't necessarily mean we're heading towards and not the progress right direction. progress sake exactly so like progressives feel like they need to make progress even if there's no progress to be made like yeah. i mean come on like the u.s has most of it should figure out to a degree which is like a first in history like th- there's nothing really to like substantial nobody is being systematically oppressed and, and, and here's the thing, right? So let's, even assuming that this is true, because there are... I've, know, I've been to the US many times, and not one time has a cop randomly pulled me over and <laughs> shot me. Just FYI, guys. No, but I've but been like, brown in America and not shot. Not once. But, but here's you the thing. Like, a t-shirt, brown in America, and survive that shit. Yes, <laughs> but, like, even, but even assuming everything the left says is true, all the Black Lives Matter people, that there has been the systemic discrimination, which there has and been. And also the feminists look like patriarchal. Well, there's that. But I mean, like, in, in, especially in terms of, of wealth accumulation, there has been things like black people couldn't own property in some areas, etc., etc., but it's like but that does not equate present systemic oppression. It doesn't. Like, but also, this is the ideal opportunity for America to be like, okay, we're at the point where we're able to fix this. We're yeah. able to remove these barriers, make this whole part of the population much more prosperous. And that just hasn't happened. And now, like the immigrants are doing it. So yeah. there's there's a very real um, like the a whole lot of Mexicans and like South Americans coming in. They're going to redefine America's identity in the next yeah. hundred years. But it'll still be a liberal, prosperous nation, hopefully, if the progressives have nothing to do with it. But the progressives reckon that, you know, free speech is abominations. Like, they can say whatever they want, man. A lot of these, like, leftist Americans genuinely just don't like America. They don't like the flag. They don't like the the values. They they, They would pretty much ban the Constitution as hate speech if they could. Like, they were, oh my God, didn't, um, was, the, was the NRA account, somebody started tweeting out the constitution of a beta on Twitter. No. Yeah, yeah. And, and people and started attacking it like, this is radical speech. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That happened like last year, I think. Yeah. And it's like, oh my um, God, you guys are trying to overthrow the government. Clip, there was a clip of a, a college student as well, where this guy asked him, like, he was protesting some speaker. And they asked him, isn't this against the First Amendment? He says, I think in 2018 or 2017, the First Amendment is really a relevant document. <laughs> And I was sitting there like this guy's, I can see in his eyes he's being serious. He thinks he's making like a banger of a point. Well, that's, well, that's the thing. Like, maybe that's a, a point on 
how prosperous America has become. That yeah, so you invent removed. problems. They, you, you have no struggles, so you invent no. struggles. You make I, up struggles. You know, and, and because it, the thing is, human beings are kind of shitty. No kidding. Like, we need a struggle. So much of our identity is tied into overcoming things. Mm. It's why we like stories with heroes in them. It's yeah, why, it's, 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 you know? it's our human nature. It's, uh, yeah. I, I was mentioning this yeah. to Wogan offline earlier, is that, you know, IRL. What, yeah, IRL. One of my favorite scientists, uh, Isaac Arthur, is that, you, you know. I love that guy. I saw, a bit off point, I, I actually saw one of his videos recommended to me on YouTube, and I only recognized his name because you keep always. Dude! Him up. My favorite. <laughs> like, I, this guy is the coolest. But anyway, he pointed out in one of his futurism videos is, is the, the point that we have this vision of humanity in the future, this utopia. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, when we go to the future, we take our humanity with us. So, I mean, we watched that Love, Death and Robots, and there was that blood, blood sports monster battle thing. Sunny's yeah. Edge, best Sunny. fucking 17 minutes Exactly, yep. exactly. So whether it's the Romans butchering each other and butchering animals in the Colosseum versus love, death, and robots, we bring our humanity with us. Yeah. So when we go to the stars, we're taking our humanity with us. So the best thing we could do is probably work on our humanity because yeah. we never... So, yeah, something I did find, I did notice in the South African context now talking about people looking for struggles. I mean, yes, there's a lot of people struggling in South Africa. I mean, you can't deny that. But at the same time, if you're like a rich university student and you're role playing as like someone in under apartheid, Lord, and thank you, you struggle, thank struggle you. guy, like I can understand why people do it because you you hear all these stories about people fighting evil and fighting an oppressive system. Well, whatever. This and, is it, and it mimics exactly. our myths and legends of like the underdog guy well, fighting the big system. Whatever. Exactly. And that's what you hear from music from form, whatever, yeah. fight the system. Exactly. Fight exactly. The exactly. So there, there, is, there is an actual photo of an ANC march with the guys holding up a banner protesting poor service delivery in an ANC controlled ward. That's where we are. The ANC is literally protesting itself. But this and that's the thing. Like, Sick job on the DA with the handcuffs in the yeah. overalls, by the way. I, that I know. <laughs> chuckle. That's a good uh, DA advert that they released last week. Was this? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it was last week. Yeah. For those of you who are international, the ruling party, the ANC, Commie ANC, had their, I guess at this point, technically, there's still strong as opposition to them, the Democratic Alliance. Uh, drop off some orange overalls and handcuffs at their headquarters, literally house. Uh, as <laughs> Which is, is because it's pretty good IRL trolling. IRL trolling because uh, they so they're finally through. learning from Donald Trump. Yeah, Fight? yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they they took a they, they stopped for Donald copying Dino Obama's Trump. notes and homework and started copying Trump's. Yeah, 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 pretty, a, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah that, sorry, sorry, OBZ, you know, you, <laughs> Joe, Michelle, I believe that. The ANC has stopped uh, copying my notes, uh, and uh, I'm uh, not. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not happy about this, Michelle. Please tell him to keep copying me my notes. Uh, Michelle's <laughs> on Instagram looking up Terry Crews videos. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> yes. 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 That's the fight. But yeah. uh, also with the whole struggle point is, and this is okay. You know, obviously I come from a nicer. Family, but I, I, one of the reasons a lot of the more affluent, or shall we say, Model C uh, school black p kids are so into this whole struggle ideology is you get to university mm. and you're suddenly in this melting pot with people. And you're suddenly, with your private school black accent, in a school with non-private school blacks who just made it in. And they shame you because you did well. Mm. You have this lovely life. And in order to be seen as black enough or feel real st black street credness, you buy into this ideology that, you know, the, 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 the oppression of the system, we're all you oppressed on, yeah, we're all oppressed on some level or other, regard yeah. Yeah, regardless of how rich you are. So when you see these wealthy, you know, local black celebrities embracing struggles they never had, that it's, it's an expression of that will that, ah, shit. I'm not black enough because I had a nice life and whatever. So I don't have struggle credit. Exactly. So they, they buy into this ideology so that they can be accepted by other black kids at university as, you know, struggling as well. That's interesting respect. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you go the route I went and say, fuck it, I don't need to I'm apologize. Be an individual, for, damn it. Yeah, I don't need yeah. to apologize for an what I'm doing. What is that? <laughs>
Well, what is this foreign concept where somebody with a mind and their own the body thing. has agency? Uh, what? I think we can, I don't know, how long is your episodes usually? Uh, I, we're actually, we're about done. Uh, yeah. Just a, a final closing, point, closing 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 I think what, what we're seeing in the world with, for example, now I don't want to go to the, the mainstream line of honor, oh, the far right and fascism is on the rise. It is though, it's small, very small, but, extent, is, but, yes. but but not to the extent. Let me say it like this: not to the extent that they're playing it up to be. But what we're seeing in terms of the manifestations on like the far right and the alt right and whatever, kind of creating little communities online and mm. coming from them, it is a reaction to this very radical far left mainstream far left ideology. It's a, only a natural reaction when you're if you look at society as an ideological balance, if the one side completely dips to the one, to like the radical side and starts becoming batshit crazy, and that's the mainstream view, of course the other side, the natural reaction would be to start becoming yeah. more radical to kind of balance it up. Because you're playing a game where, for example, collectivism is the, in, 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 a, in a metaphoric sense, in politics, collectivism is like steroids. So if you, in a, in a short-term sense, long-term sense, it creates a lot of pain and suffering, but in a su- short-term sense, it can create a lot of success and like uh, electoral wins and electoral results. So what happens is one side starts playing the identity politics and collectivist game. If the other side doesn't do it as well, it's like competing against someone on steroids yeah. in the, in, the uh, um, uh, in tennis or whatever, or in like any type of sport, doesn't really matter. So... What's happening now is that a lot of people on, on the right are giving into the temptation of playing this identity politics game. So don't come to me with the idea of that it was the right that started and now the left is just reacting. I can see from my own personal perspective the identity politics thing starting at, in Obama's first term with the idea of this idea of America's first black player president, which is an identity-based platform. And it was so incredibly successful. That it's actually left, un-American to me. Yeah, like and that. then the, the left realized this is an incredibly successful platform and they just stuck with it. And then the right kind of in, in nature reacted to it with the same type of politics. And that's why you're seeing identity politics on both sides and now it's just a vicious cycle. But there's also like just on that point of like the, these little online communities mm-hmm. forming, what I've noticed is that the people that join them are generally quite happy to find a place where they can just share what they think without being told they're wrong for right. thinking it. Right. Whereas the mainstream platforms constantly tell you what you're supposed to think and what you're bad for thinking. Yeah. And it's like, even if you're wrong, it's still better to be heard and understood. Mm. And that, that used to be the thing that the compassionate left was better at. was like, oh, we're all humans. You know, we we're here in this together. We're fighting the battle of ideas. And that, that, that was, no, you're right. That was the left selling point, the, the compassionate. And then it's like, yeah. fuck that. We want to win elections. Yeah. So now it's all this. Yeah. And the, it's, the thing is, humans are going to be humans. At this point in history, it's the political right which is housing the free speech and the yeah. open thought. And somewhere down the line, a few decades again, it's going to switch again. Exactly. That's just it's how it always goes. Yeah. It's, like the, it's the paradigm shift that Sticks yeah. X and Emma keeps talking about. The idea of back in the day, the, the right were the establishment, like culturally and politically. And then the left were the counterculture. They won spectacularly. And now yeah. they're the cultural and political establishment it, in general it, across the world. It was a period victory, though. I don't think the American consciousness has, pu- has processed mm-hmm. the sexual revolution correctly. Yeah. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of really fucked up things happening. Yeah. But anyway, that's... Uh, I don't know. Odin, any closing thoughts? Um, yeah, guys. In a more... Uh, my closing thoughts are of a more le- local sort of nature. You know, obviously it's Easter. Stay safe out there. Uh, I know it's, it's incredibly tempting to get pissed off when somebody cuts you off. It's incredibly tempting to say it won't happen to me. I'll just drive home, but like honestly, Uber home or whatever. Mm-hmm. Just honestly, guys, I know it's it's, it's incongruous to what these people have been saying in the last two minutes, but it is <laughs> it's, it's it's important. Try, try, uh, try to live longer is like a good message generally. Yeah, live longer so we can post more memes to you. And yes. um, at at the end of the day, you know, um, my my last closing thoughts is as much as we've worked on all sides, it's. Nothing is, what was that, um, was it Benjamin Franklin who said no argument is worth losing, political argument is worth losing a friend over. You know, we all have our sides and our tribes and whatever, but it, it, it's really, it's, it's not worth it. Yeah. You know? And at the end of the day, we can have a beer and talk shit. Exactly. And I think, oh, well, firstly, I don't think this show can afford to lose any fans to death. So... <laughs> If one person dies, 10% of our fan base has been killed. Like 15% maybe. Well, it's, it's a good thing we literally did not give a shit about that. 
Oh yeah, but uh, thanks for having me on, guys. It was an incredible stream. Remember, we're going to set up a, a GoFundMe for Deaf Taxes and Justice. We oh, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna crowdsource the plot, then we're gonna crowdsource yeah. the actors, and we're gonna try and make it. This is your movie, style. guys. Yeah. Choose your and own we will, adventure. We will release it on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, peace out. Peace.